Hi, everybody. I'm Zilla Blitz, and welcome to our first look at Battles of North Africa 1941 from Wargame Design Studio. Now, if you're not familiar with Wargame Design Studio, they're a digital wargame design company that has a slew of war games in a wide range of categories and historical periods and eras. And Battles of North Africa 1941 that we're going to look at today is in their Panzer Battles series. There's three games as of right now in this series, and we're going to look at the one, obviously, Battles of North Africa 1941 in World War II. So let's jump into the game. We're going to play the first introductory scenario. We're going to be leading a contingent of British forces attacking a fixed Italian defensive position, which we're going to lay off to the AI. We're going to show about how some of the major games game features work, and I'll talk a little bit about my experience with it as we start to dig in. So let's jump in and get started. So we've launched into the main screen of the game, and we can see basically the rough interface of what we're going to be looking at. We've got all of our control buttons, and what a suite of buttons that is up at the top to give you an idea of kind of all the things you can do and all of depth and complexity to this game. But we're looking at is the splash screen by which we pick the scenario that we want to go into in this game. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the features of Battles of North Africa 1941. This is, these games are... Uh, they have a lot of things in them. For example, scenario count is 117. That's not, I didn't, I said that right. There's 117 scenarios in this game. And I can see if we just kind of scroll through these, they just go on forever. Some of them are as short as the one we're going to play today, which is literally six turns and three hours. Others are 90 turns, which are multiple days covering a much larger campaign on a much larger scale. And at the very end of this video, I'll show what one of the larger scenarios looks like to give, to give you an idea of that, to kind of compare and contrast to this kind of introductory scenario that we're going to be playing today. But um, to give a little bit of an overview as to what operations are covered in this game, we've got Operation Brevity, Battle Axe, Crusader, and each one of these uh, operations has multiple scenarios. For example, Operation Compass is in here. There are 16 scenarios for that one. So some are covering just a portion of the, the, the operation, others covering a much larger scale. Sonnenblum, Siege of Tobruk, and then there's 25 scenarios around the invasion of Crete as well. And so that gives you an idea a little bit of what's in here. There's eight maps. There's a scenario editor. On the left-hand side here, we can see we can play normal, which is what we're going to play today. Direct play host, direct play caller, play by email, two-player hot seat, there is an 85-page virtual order of battle PDF that comes with it as well. So there's just a ton of stuff that comes in one of these games. Now, um, we're going to pick our first scenario here. We're going to pick getting started. Let's jump in and go to war as the British. We're going to be attacking, again, a static Italian defense. And this is kind of the learning scenario that the PDF comes with in the game here. Um, we can see it's six turns. And we are going to play OK here. Now we've got our AI selection. We're going to put the axis on automatic fog of war with fog of war, FOW. There are some optional rules we can put in here, but we're going to just click through and leave what are there. And then we're going to hit OK. And we're going to let the game load up here. And so now the game has loaded up and we can see our forces here on the right side of the screen. Um, we get some sound effects rolling in here and we get the Allied Command Report at the beginning of the battle telling us we have five smoke rounds left and it's turn one of six and we are the British over here on the right hand side. So let's orient, our, orient ourselves a little bit to um, what we're trying to accomplish and where we're going. This here on the left hand side, 0.248 in this kind of Italian flag that we see, that is our victory objective. We're trying to take that. We're also trying to inflict as many casualties as we can upon on the Italian forces there and suffer as minimal casualties that we can. We can see now we've got a ton of units here. And if I click on one of these units, I can see in the top left-hand corner, it's giving us a lot of information for it. 111 men, their movement is 79, and they've got a T after it, which means they are in trucks. We can see a truck icon behind them there. Morale is B and fatigue is zero. We've got elevation, supply, and all these kinds of things. If I right-click on this little display, it's a little bit hard to see on the PC, um, on, on, the, on the video, I'm sure it's fine for me. But you can see kind of hard and soft, assault, anti-aircraft, defense, speed, and then it's motorized indicators here too, as well as is the full order of battle going all the way up to the Western de Desert Force, kind of its stacked order of battle there. So it's time for us to get busy. Now, the scale of this, the Panzer, the Panzer Battles series, um, each hex is about 250 meters across, and it's 30 minutes to a turn. So this six-turn scenario, our mission on this day 
is in three hours, we've got to traverse this section of the desert here, launch an attack on these uh, set Italian defenses. Fog of war is on, so we can't see them. So we don't quite know where they are. They're going to be kind of visible as we get closer to them and things like that. Take those positions and inflict as many casualties as we can. In order to do that, we really have to get moving. So let's get busy here. So um, we're going to click on this front unit. And there is a formation kind of movement order here, where if you click on that front unit, but don't actively select it by clicking on it again in the top left corner, you can click all and then right click somewhere and that whole formation is going to go. So we can see here our infantry battalions, our infantry, infantry platoons. We've got three of them up here that are each 111 men. We've got a mortar section. We've got some uh, two pounders, our headquarters here. And then we've got some uh, mechanized here. These are uh, recon units, actually, hard half tracks that are coming with behind us. These are smaller, only 30 men in each one of them. One of the cool things I like about this, too, I should talk about this now, too, is that it's down to the man. So we can see on this unit up here, 111 men. As we suffer casualties and inflict casualties, it's, it's at the man, individual man level. And then as we kind of click up here on the victory conditions, we can see we're going to get men losses, gun losses, vehicle losses, not naval losses in this one, or air losses, perhaps, too. Um, and those are all going to factor into the point. So we're going to see to the man where our casualties are in this battle, which is just a level of granularity that I find incredibly fascinating uh, that, you, you know, you can't do this kind of calculation in a tabletop board game. Don't get me wrong. I love tabletop board games, but this is kind of cool. Now, we have also have one uh, platoon here of uh, engineers, 65 men. They are also in trucks. They're not quite attached to this. We're going to move them uh, as far down this path as we can. And we can see here in the middle of the road, too, there's this little pathway which is giving us a movement advantage. This is why we're all following that. And then over here on the right-hand side of the screen, we have a battery of eight 25-pounders uh, that we're going to be able to use for our artillery and things like that. However, at this point, we can't see anything to shoot at, so we're not going to shoot at anything yet. And that takes us basically tooling down this desert roadway to close the gap. If it's 250 meters, we're about 2,000 meters away now. So about a little bit over two kilometers away from our objectives here. Um, we're able to go down the roadway, nothing really being able to take a shot at us yet. We're going to end our turn by clicking on the little clock in the top right hand corner. And let's see what the Italian Oops, I got to save this video. I'm going to save it under video. Save that. I'm going to put one, replace it. Yes. Um, I actually tried this scenario once before video, but I had a mistake with my microphone, so I'm redoing it here. A little quick aside. Okay, so we've got two, uh, five rounds of smoke available, and we're on to two, turn two of turn six. And now, aha, we can see our enemies, the first Italian defenders we can see. If we look in the top right, we can see it's XX men, so somewhere between 10 and 99 men. We don't know the exact numbers. Don't know their movement, morale, fatigue, but they are disrupted. We've caught them off guard. We can also see in yellow underneath the, the unit plan, their axis and their trench is minus 40%. So these guys are dug into their formation. We can also see in front of them, it's a little bit tricky to see on the video, perhaps some kind of gray obstacles that we're going to have to move through. These are marked with an O on the map too. So we're going to have to get through them. There is a pathway through the obstacles to the north of this Italian defender in here. But from having played the scenario before, there's mines there. They're, they're baiting us. So we're going to be a little bit careful as we go forward. OK, so now the question is, what do we want to do? We want to move our British forces up as quickly as we can to get within about maybe 500 meters. Then we're going to have them disembark from their trucks and be ready to assault in the next couple of turns here, the next hour. So we're going to spend the next half hour here getting close. And now we want to don't want to use the formation part here because that will move everybody and keep them in their trucks and stuff like that. So I'm going to click on the the battalion, the platoon up here in the top left hand corner. And then I'm going to come and click on S, which is going to give them this is S means save movement points for disembarking from your vehicle. It puts a bracket around the movement points. And now what we're going to be able to do is to move this unit up. It's only going to go as far as it can. It's going to save enough movement points for us to disembark and get off. Now we're taking fire. The battle has started, no effect, but we've disembarked from our trucks and we're in good position. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing here now with all of these units. We're gonna kind of get them close and see if we can get them within range. Because we wanna come right and we're gonna start assaulting it. Italians are opening fire here, but their, their, their fire effect is not really, not really effective here. They shoot at us as we're getting out of the trucks and things like that. I'll move uh, everybody up, up, everybody else up close to the assaults, and we'll talk a little bit about what's next. All right, so we've moved our units up close to this Italian defensive positions. Now, we also have a couple of things left that we can do before we move on to the next 
uh, half hour here. We have our 25 pounders over here. We haven't fired those. So I'm going to click on this Italian unit here. I'm going to click on the blue artillery icon up to the top there. And we can pull up our artillery dialog box here. It says a battery, the 4th Regiment, all right, 25 pounder Mark IIs. We've got eight kind of firing here. We're going to put them on normal and we are going to let these guys have it. See if we can inflict some casualties. Yes, we took out an Italian defender now. So we, we can see that one man comes up. So we know that's a casualty. Now, if I click up here on our battle report, we can see allied losses zero, Axis losses one. Bloodshed has begun here. Now, we can't fire our mortar unit down here. We moved them up and they had to get off the truck. So they used all their power to expend on that. But I do believe we have an air attack here. Yes, we have two air missions that we can use carpet bombing and we are going to send them right here on this unit and that puts them there we can see now that the aircraft is icon is on top of them once you call airstrikes in they're coming you can't change them and hopefully they drop on the right target i've had them drop on my own men at some point too so that'll happen in between this now it's going to take a while for the aircraft to get here but i want to try to take out this position because we got to break the spine of the italian defense although we know there's going to be a lot more defenders around here Everything else in terms is upped and moved up, moved up and pretty close to it. We've got our two pounders here still on the trucks um, because I want to get them close. Then we're going to unload them and hopefully they can provide some, provide some fire here too. And we should be set. So our first hour of the battle is over here. We're going to hit the end turn. Oh, so now we're getting some fire here. These are some Italian artillery. Mortars opening up on our units as we draw close. We're taking fire here. Not very accurate Italian defender. It's firing here yet firing at our guns our mortars are returning fire and basically now we get this kind of back and forth action here of the two sides firing at it we have opportunity fire we're putting some good casualties on these italians here we're taking out some number of people here mortars opening up hopefully our air attack here will hit the right target and what happened to it okay nothing really effective i don't know where it went but anyway uh smoke five available we've got our artillery unit is unavailable oh my gosh our 25 pounders are broken i think um maybe they're reloading or something who knows but stuff happens in war right so we'll just drive on okay so now we're about 500 meters away from our italian defenders we've got to get through these obstacles and then attack so we're going to have our units here start moving forward but first before we do that yeah you know i think we're going to actually have our mortar here we're going to open fire with the mortars um, and we're going to try to put some shots here on we're going to lay some mortar rounds here on these italian defenders um, it's kind of a bummer that our artillery doesn't work because that's a helpful one and then let's hit this artillery over here see if we can do some damage there no effect no effect ineffective mortar fire at this range okay so now we're going to start to move our infantry units up here they've gotten out of their trucks they're going to hit the obstacles and that's going to chew up all of their uh, movement points here too so we've got them stuck in the obstacles but they're moving forward now let's get our other units up here and get this next platoon going taking fire i don't think we've suffered any casualties yet these italians we're going to suffer casualties now though because i know it's going to happen uh, this platoon here we're going to send them forward and they're going to hit the minefield no effect but when they go up here two men killed or casualties anyway by the mines so that's not good now oh, oh i forgot our two pounders we should have had them open up fire first so our two pounders here are over in the truck here we've got 12 guns it's a battery of them we're going to bring them out of the trucks here now they are oops i gotta select them first now they're out of their trucks taking some fire as they disembark but now we can fire with these guys let's see if we can hit this unit right here yeah put some fire on there no effect okay i'm gonna fire once more with them should do it ah took out a man good okay so i got some a little bit of artillery support as we move up in here that'll make up for the loss of the 25 pounders now i want the engineers to come up here and see if they can clear this minefield we can see this unit up here mines times one is under there and so let's have our engineers see if they can come up here and help clear the mines we will have them disembark as they get closer it might take them a little while one more turn yes one more turn and then we're gonna have them disembark i don't want to drive have them drive into the minefield would be bad okay so they've disembarked ready to move up into the minefield next turn to help clear that and next we have this other this recon unit this motorized recon unit down here we're going to bring them up as close as we can coming in behind our assault to see if they can provide some support as we go through here so let's have them come up here disembark good do the same thing 
So I'll just bring these up and then once we're set, we'll take a look at our situation here. All right, so our forces now are ready to launch an assault here on these Italian troops. But we've got a, one group, we've got one platoon stuck in the minefield with the others clearing the obstacles here. We're an hour and a half into our three hour mission here. And we're, we're, I think we're in pretty good position to attack, but this is where things I think can really go sideways. So let's advance now to our next turn and we should have a pretty big firefight here because I'm sure the Italians are gonna start to open up on us here. I love the sound effects in the background here too. I will. I, want, I should probably, while this is going on, let me talk a little bit too about um, a couple of things I was wondering about. So I, I think the graphics with this series obviously are very modest. You know, there's a, there's a certain element of simplicity to the graphics here. Um, if you're looking for eye candy, these are not the games for you, right? These are deep, tac deep, deep military simulations with a deep engine involved in them too. One of my concerns, oh, look at that. Sorry, not sorry to interrupt myself here. But an Italian machine gun unit right on our left flank there, right under the Burr El Rabia sign, uh, has started to open up on our side. So we, they had a, a dug-in position there. That's not good. But uh, one of the things I wondered about as that Italian turn ends is how hard was it going to be to learn the game? Because I thought, you know, with all of these buttons and things like that, it took me about 45 minutes to work through the introductory tutorial. And I had to play a couple of parts a couple of times and stuff like that. And I'd say I'm at the functional point in the game after that. Um, and now I think it's kind of learning how to play with, you know, what some of these other icons mean, some of the deeper features that are probably more in the larger scenarios as well, and as well to learn how to play well, which is a completely different thing. Uh, so, and especially this unit doesn't have armor in it too. So, okay, we're up to turn four out of six and our unit in the minefield here is isolated. We've still got five smoke available and we're going to take advantage of that. I think our artillery is available now too, which should be good. Okay, so we've got some units in position to assault these positions now, but one thing I know from playing this scenario before is a little bit to the north, about 500 meters to the north on the east edge of this point 248 is a rather robust Italian machine gun unit. I mean, logically, it makes sense to put one there. It's out on a point. It's got good visibility and stuff. Um, and as we move through these, I'm afraid that they're going to open fire and tear us apart. So um, we're going to take our mortar squad, our mortar here, and we're going to have them open fire. So we've got mortar. But instead of firing normal, we're going to have them fire smoke. And we're going to drop it right to the in this space here in between where this uh, our teams are advancing here. So it puts round of mortar and smoke right in there. That's good. And I think actually that's okay. Maybe we only need one. Yeah, let's just drop one in there. Let's save the rest of it here. Let's fire normal then on this uh, machine gun unit down. Here. See if we can do some damage. No effect. Our mortar team is not performing up to expectations. I'm going to hope, yeah, no, we should fire with the 25 pounder too. Let's, we need to take this position. So we're going to have another artillery barrage drop right in here. Go there. Excellent. Five men. That was good. And we will call in an airstrike too, I think, after this as well uh, for the next turn here. But okay, so that's good. Now it's time for us to assault. We've done pretty well. We've got smoke covering that position to the north. We've hit them hard with artillery. We've got the, kind of attacking from a lot of ways. Let's have this central battalion, the central platoon here. Uh, launch 111 men they've yet to suffer a casualty you basically drag them up on top of that unit now we get the an unknown assault odds because of the fog of war we're going to hit okay we're probably going to take some fire as we advance we've lost a man now i think that might be our first casualty here that's the first time they've hit us and then we're going to click on the assault rifles up there excellent we can see the result no effect and six men no effect is what happened to us the result on the right is what happened to the enemy so we took up we cut we killed six italians or hurt at least kind of casualties for six Italians here. We should have a little bit of residual movement. We can open up and fire on them, taking out two more men as they flee from their position. That's excellent. Very, very good for us. Big firefight here. We're taking a lot of fire. We've lost another British, British lad bites the dust here. But I also want to see if we can assault on this the question is, do we want to push past this machine gun? I think we are. We're going to try to, I want to get to our objective and there's not a lot of time left. So it, we're going to pass this machine gun nest. This might be a little bit risky because we're kind of threading between two positions here. But the Italians to the north here, that, that co oh, that costs us a lot. Can we get further? We cannot. That's as far as we can go. Let's open fire here on these guns and we'll fire on the disrupted guns. Oh, there's guns all over the place here. Let's fire on the functioning ones here. No effect. We have not been able to dig these guns out at all. Okay, now up here, let's get our engineers up into the minefield here. 
So we want to get them going up right into here, select them and push them up into the minefield. Good. They're clearing mines. And meanwhile, let's have this isolated battalion. We're going to have them push up into the smoke. Let's see what happens here. The machine gun opened fire. Oh, our engineers went through too. That's not what we wanted to do. Ah, darn it. Oh, well. Okay. That, that's war. Um, still, that machine gun to the north, I guess they can't see us because we're in the smoke here. That's fine too. Let's. Can we send our engineers backwards, maybe? We can. Okay. So we'll send them back to clear out those mines. Sorry, guys. Um, but let's go in here and let's have our unit here. They have plenty of movement left. Let's see if we can put some fire here on these units fleeing here. Five men. Oh, we're cutting them down nicely. There can't be too many of them left there. We put some pretty heavy casualties on this platoon. Okay, that's good. We can fire again, too. Two more men. Nice. At a certain point, I would expect this unit to break here. Machine gun bothers me off on the side there, but not much we can do about it, I think. Okay, that's very good. Now we have our... Oh, we didn't fire with our two-pounders, did we? Wasted, wasted opportunities here. But still... Okay, let's have them fire now on this machine gun nest. Ideally, I should have done that earlier, for sure. Would have helped reduce no effect. Maybe. What I, one thing I don't know that I'm kind of curious about is there kind of like a dialed-in effect. Like, the more you fire at the same target... Does your chances of hitting it, doing damage, get better? We were totally failured on that one there. Three shots and no damage whatsoever. But we still have our recon uh, battalion over here. Let's get these guys going. We're going to have them assault this machine gun nest down here. So let's move them up here. Take a fire from the machine gun. This machine gun can't hit anything. They can't get in there? Ugh. Okay. We'll have them open fire, though. Fire there. No effect. Taking mortar fire. The Italians get a lot of shots off in this year, but they, they really don't seem to hit anything. I think it's probably because they're disrupted. And again, this I think is designed too as kind of the introductory scenario. Um, whether we win it or not remains to be seen though. We still have a lot of ground to cover here. Okay, so now let's push our other recon unit forward here. I'm going to move these up and we'll, we'll kind of see what it looks like as we get to the end of the, this half hour here. All right, so we, we've moved forward now. We've pushed these Italian defenders up. We've exchanged a lot of fire with this machine gun nest down here on the side, but no, to no avail. Um, we have pushed through with a little bit through the minefield. We've got engineers clearing the mines. We've taken one Italian position. We still have little time to move. We've got about an hour left and we've got a ways to go before we can get to this final position here. But I'm, I'm so far so good. If we look up here at the results of the battle so far, um, we're doing very well casualty-wise. We've only lost four men, um, and we've inflicted 33 casualties on the Italians. That gives us two men point losses here. And then the current total point is right, minus one, which is an allied minor defeat. If we can get to five, what would it be? Between zero and five is a draw. So we need, uh, we have to do better. We, we've got a lot. Of, now, these guns over here on the, the west side of the Italian defense, I think can give us a lot of victory points. So I'm hopeful that we can close in on those on this next turn now too. We're going to save our airstrike for a better opportunity. And let's go to the next turn here. We'll let the Italians, uh, and we'll exchange fire with the Italians here. And then we'll be back as soon as this is over here to see uh, what our next steps will be. There is that machine gun unit that's just opened up. It's opened up on our units here. The first time I did this, this took a lot of my forces out. So this is a, definitely something we want to take care of. All right, we're here. Turn five out of six. A lot of exchanges, some more Italian casualties and stuff like that. We did lose a couple of men as well. Um, we've got still four rounds of us, uh, four uh, kind of artillery rounds of smoke left here. And then uh, we've got a unit clearing mines and obstacles. We, we know that and that's all okay. Uh, now it's time for us to push forward a little bit more, and we have our two-pounders here. I think what I want to do right away is to get these two-pounders on this side, opening fire up here on this uh, dug-in machine gun position, see if we can do some damage here. No effect. These two-pounders haven't hit anything. Come on, guys. No effect. Seriously. Nothing. Okay. But we do have, and they're tired. <laughs> So all we did is wear ourselves out. Very well. Let's um, bring in our artillery unit here to hit them. Actually, I'm going to have the artillery unit fire over here on this Italian artillery because there's a lot of value there. Oops, I didn't want to fire our mortars there. 
Darn it, I wanted to fire smoke there. That was a mistake. I wanted to fire 25 pounders. Oh well, ineffective orders here. Fatigue, we made them a little tired and stressed. I think what I wanna do up here is drop smoke again with the mortars here up to this, right on top of our own units actually. And just to kind of obscure this machine gun nest to maybe be able to do this. Oh, they took out one of our guns here. They hit one of our mortars, darn it. They did, we had two mortars and they took out one of them. Blast it, that's gonna hurt our victory conditions too. That Italian artillery is such a pain. They're not supposed to hit anything. Anyway, okay, let's go forward now again. We're gonna start to push forward. Um, we fired all artillery and everything like that. And let's have this middle platoon here keep pushing these units back because we're driving them back. We know we can get rid of them. Nice, wiped them out. Seven men killed and that wiped them out, finished. So that clears the way for us to go forward. Can we still keep going? We can. The machine guns passed the smoke and it cut us down a little bit here too. Probably should have waited there. Let's have this other platoon, however, attack this machine gun nest. This might be tricky. Dug in machine gun nest. We're taking fire from mortars. We're covered in smoke and stuff like that. Let's see if we have success. Oh, that was outstanding. No effect, 13 men. Brilliant work by our Commonwealth forces here. And let's have it open fire up here. Can we still have it open fire? We cannot. Okay, I don't know why that's going to smoke and stuff like that instead. Interesting. Okay, we can't fire there. We won't worry about that. Okay, now our engineers have cleared the mines. That's excellent. We can have them push through. I want to have this unit, however, to the south here. Actually, let's bring these guys up, our recon forces, into these obstacles to try to hit this machine gun nest. Can they go forward again? They can't because they had to burn all of their movement points to get through the obstacles. So they're weaving their way through these obstacles to approach and insult this machine gun nest. Let's have, however, this fresh platoon up here. It's going to move forward. Oh, taking fire from these guns and the machine guns. However, they're, they're bravely going forward here. Let's have them move and see if we can. There's not enough movement points to assault. They'll have to go next turn. Okay, such is the case. But maybe they can fire here. Something I've done, I gotta figure this out because it should be registering the ability to fire here. All right, I figured out that residual element here too. So we can have these units fire on these guns here, I think. We gotta select them first. Let's have them open fire here. And let's have them fire on the functional guns, not the disrupted ones. Nice, we took out a gun, excellent. That's very, very good. So now that these units up here, some of these units just have some extra movement. They do not, they do not. These guys do, however. Let's have them fire on that machine gun nest that they drove out. Select them first, open fire. Two men more down, good. We're starting to put on casualties here too. This is very, very good. Now, down here, they're returning fire. We've got some units down here, right? That they are ready to assault next turn, which is good. We can have our engineers now have cleared the mines. Let's have them push forward as far as they can. Get up there, no effect. Can still move further, can we get in there? They can, good, very, very good. So we've got them forward and let's have this recon platoon here move forward as far as they can. Oh, more Italian units. It's okay, that's good. And our two pounders have fired. Our mortars have fired even though we've lost one of them. Our artillery fired back there. We are good to go. We do have one more air assault. I think it's time to call that in. So let's click here. Let's bring in our air units. Flight B, we're gonna drop them on these mortars I think is probably the best thing to do. Let's see if we can do there. Okay, so now it's time for the Italians to return fire. Let's see what happens here. We still have to take our objective. A lot more units we can see up here now that have popped into our line of sight as we've kind of crested this hilltop here. We have smoke left though, so we can use our mortar to drop some smoke to help obscure our final assault on this final position. Alrighty, so we had some casualties down around this machine gun nest to the to the south of our assault here. Some exchange of fire though. We've got um, no units, under, one unit out of one unit checked. Good, everything's good. Three smoke available. Our last half hour of the assault here. Let's take a look at how our victory conditions are doing now. We've only lost nine men. Wow, that's that's pretty low here, but we did lose a gun, which is gonna cost us a victory point. Right now we are at zero, which is still an allied minor defeat, even though we've taken out 75 men here. We could use to get some of these guns. I think that's the big thing here. Let's see if our artillery can help us out. Is it functional this round? Yes, our 25 pounder. Oh, but you know what we want? Sorry, check that. We want to have our artillery fire on this, the, the final here, the, the objective of our whole attack here. 
So we're going to have it fire there. 25 pounders firing right here. Let's do OK. Right there. Nice. Oh, one man, good. But that should still soften them up. We put, them, we put some pressure on them there. That's good. OK, that's OK there. And they are disrupted too. Now, let's take our mortar here, which is disrupted. Oh, wow, that's taking some fire here. Can it still fire though? It can. Let's have it drop some smoke to the north of this to help shield our attack a little bit going in from those positions further to the west there. OK, so we've got smoke in the way. Oh, it can fire again, too. Nice. Let's have it fire right here. Again, dropping more smoke in the way. Good. That should help obscure our attack. Now we have our two pounders to fire. It's kind of out of the range of everything here. But let's see what they can fire at. Let's see if they can hit that machine gun nest. I don't think they've hit anything all day. Yes, they finally took out a casualty. Let's try again there. Two men, good. Just not a, just highly ineffective fire here. So our mortars are fired. Our aircraft is brought in. We have no more mortars gone. 25 pounders fired. Now, and we've got smoke laying down on our final assault here. Now it's time for these troops here to come up and to assault this final position. So let's have these guys move forward right there. Now we should have enough movement to assault the final position. Unknown assault, fog of war, fog of war. Let's get in here. So taking fire from the mortars. Let's get in, dig them out. Yes. No effect. We didn't lose a man. We took five men and we've switched to British. We have taken the final objective here too. And that is excellent. Now let's see if we can take really rack up some victory points here by taking out these guns. So let's have our engineers push forward. Taken fire from behind by the machine gun. Let's have them assault. Yes, on this mortar position. Come on, let's see if we can get lucky here. This is a big one. Let's take it. Nice. We've taken it six guns taken out of action. That's excellent. That will probably shift us a little bit too here. We are allied minor victory, right? Because we got six guns, seven guns for six victory points there. So that has shifted us up to six victory points. We need four more victory points to get a major victory here. And we have a couple more assaults that we can do. This one down here on this artillery. Let's see if we can get lucky here. This last assault. I feel like these guys are really dug in though. But let's try it. Unknown assault, fog of war. They didn't fire at us. Ah, we didn't take it. We did take one more gun. I don't think we're going to get the major victory then. We would have needed to take those guns there. But can we do anything else? Can they? Fi they can still fire, right? Let's have them fire there. No, we're going to select them and then fire. And we'll have them fire on the functional guns. We made them tired, but that doesn't help. Machine gun is a pain in the butt there. Okay, how about these guys here? No, they can't fire. These guys here can fire. Nope, nothing else. Okay, very well. Let's assault this last machine gun nest down here in the south, though, too. So we'll pull them up. So we're going to go like that. Pull them up here, attacking that. Unknown assault, fog of war. Go in there. 15 men. Nice. They held their position, though. They're fighting to the death here. Can we still fire? I think we can still fire. Let's have them support this other assault here. Select and fire. No effect. We have one more assault. Unit can assault. These guys down here can assault. Let's push them up and see if they can drive out these machine gun nests here. Let's go and assault. Eight men casualties, but still holding their position. They're fighting to the death here. Okay. Well, what else have we got left? We've got these two units on the northern end of our attack. Let's have this platoon here push forward and kind of route this machine gun platoon here. Let's see what we can do. Let's assault 11 men. Most excellent. We're inflicting some casualties here. This is good. And we have our last, this recon platoon here. Let's push them up forward and let's have them assault. Get in here. Any luck? Any luck? Nice. One man, but we pushed them out of their position. Good. So the Commonwealth attack here doing pretty well, I think, overall. And we didn't drive out this machine gun nest, but we inflicted a lot of casualties. How is our victory report looking right now? Allied mine. Oh, we have nine victory points. We need 10 for a major victory. We've missed the, the major victory by one point so far. Is there anything else we can do? Is there anything we haven't fired or moved or? I think every movement point's expended. Oh, this one right here. They haven't shot yet. Okay, they could still fire a little bit. Select them and then fire. Let's fire at the guns. They can't. They're in the way. No effect. Okay, that doesn't help. We don't want to lose any men more. That's fired. Headquarters, can they fire something? 
I'm not sure what their range is. Uh, no, they don't. They have many. They don't have any capacity. And our two pounders have already fired. Our 25, 25 pounders have fired. Everything's fired. Well, the Italians are going to get a turn. If we could afflict some more casualties, maybe we can get that one more point to get up to a major victory here. Let's see what happens in this last round. Four men, and we wiped out that unit. That was good. That might help us. One more victory point here. Two more men. Well, I'll be back as soon as this exchange of fire is over. Time limit reached in scenario. The battle that we took out a few more casualties. I'm not sure how it went there. Did we get it? Oh, we did. Nice. Apparently that it, I'm not sure how we got those extra points. Men lost. Maybe the gun lost or something like that. All of a sudden it went up by uh, to 15 points. Major victory for the Ital for the allies there. Nicely. That, that worked out pretty well. Okay. So um, one thing I want to show us too is I want to go in now and take a look at a large scenario. So I'm going to jump out of this and come back in and we're going to take a look at one of the larger scenarios. I'll be right back. One thing I wanted to show, actually, before we jump out of this, there's a lot of options for speeding up the action in between turns, for display of units, for things that you can see and not see. And all of these buttons have functions up here. You can see altitude, all kinds of different things about units and stuff like that. So we've really kind of scratched the surface, I think, in terms of what the depth of this game offers. But one of the things that's kind of cool here is there are settings we can change the views of the units to NATO symbols. So here we got kind of infantry, you know, mechanized, the recon there, uh, engineers and stuff like that. So we can kind of change. That's another option for unit symbols. And then we can do alt unit graphics here. We have to turn this one off too, uh, which changes it to kind of vehicles and infantry and men and stuff like that, which looks kind of cool too. I tend to like, at least at the moment, uh, I seem to, I really kind of like this default one, which uh, kind of helps me identify what the units are at a quick visual glance too. So I just want to show you that. Let's go in and John, jump now and take a look at a bigger scenario. So we are back here. This is Operation Battle Axe, and I've enabled it here both for the, the German forces and the Allied forces. So I've turned off uh, Fog of War and put it on two player hot seat. But we can see here just how massive this map is. I'm scrolled all the way out and it's still impossible to see the whole thing here. Uh, forces scattered all over the place. This is a 90 turn scenario that goes on for forever. So 45 hours, literally two days, of almost uh, two days of combat here. We can see it goes all the way up to the coast. We've got, these are the Axis forces we're looking at. A massive chunk of the desert that you can uh, kind of act out. And the British units, the Commonwealth units actually are all down here to the south as they're moving up in these different positions. So we can see coming across here too. And if we scan in, if we scroll in here, we can see, whoops, that was up by the water. We can see all of the units scattered out here. Just a massive battle to explore in this game like this. One of the things I haven't quite got down, let's go like that, does that work? Yeah, here we go. So now we're zooming into these British units, moving up along a road and stuff like that. Here we can see some, uh, these must be Matildas. Yeah, Matilda 2's coming up here. So. All kinds of stuff. Anyway, I just want to show you that, that to kind of give you a range of this. I will come back. Um, I'm going to come back and play, try to play a kind of medium scenario that I think it can do in about two or three episodes. Once I play a few more scenarios, get a little bit more understanding some of the, the, the more subtle complexities of the system uh, and get a little bit better at the game. I'm not going to wait to get really good at it, but I want to get a little bit better at it. Then I'm going to kind of play, find a scenario that's got a kind of a real good 50% chance back and forth action with some armor in it. So I'll be back in a few weeks to play another scenario with this. Let me know what you think. If you've got any questions, I'd be happy to answer them as well. But this is Battles of North Africa 1941 from Wargame Design Studio. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.